What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new series that we're starting on the channel here today. If you if you guys can see the screen, you already know what it's going to be. Smackdown. Here comes the pain season mode. I told you I was going to find a way to bring you some classic WWE games, and I figured it out. So, without further ado, let's get right into season mode. And before we get started, if you guys want to see this series continue, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already for more. Uh, so real quick, just so you guys know, we're going to be going through season mode. And I did switch it um, to hard, so there's the easy, normal, hard, and SmackDown. Normal seemed a little bit too easy, so we're going to go with a little more, something a little more difficult. Um, so we're going to be playing on hard mode, just so you guys know. But we're going to get right into season mode. Start a new season. Uh, do you want to carry over the existing data? No. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, sure, let's include it. Created stables. So we're going to keep everything, you know, all the same. Um... You know, the superstars, uh, the rosters, faces, and heels. We're going to keep all that the same. Like I said, we're just going to get into this, play it, uh, you know, like you normally would. And there's been a lot of guys, there was a lot of guys that I was considering playing as, but there's one that really stood out to me, and um, I was going to play him when I first tried to do this series, but it didn't end up happening. So we are going to be playing through as the animal Batista in this season mode now. A lot of you guys might be wondering why I decided to go with Batista. Well, it's kind of simple. Um, I didn't want to go with it. I kind of want to go with like Undertaker or something like that, but the, I kind of had a criteria. I didn't want them to have too high of an overall, and I didn't want them to have any championships. So Batista is one that, like I said, I was going to play as him before. Um, I, ha I don't think I've seen anyone use Batista, so I thought he might be a good guy to play as. So we're going to play as Batista in this series. Um, so let's get right into this. Like I said, I'm not wasting any time. We're jumping right into this before my computer crashes <laughs> again. <laughs> my computer is not built for this at all. Um, there's one question people always ask me. Why do you wrestle? I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain. And I do it for so many reasons. The rush of the adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, the glory of the championship. But I know there's more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find an answer. Maybe when I get to the top of this squared circle, I'll find out something about myself. But maybe I won't find out anything. But I guess I'll step into that ring again tonight. Because I know the view from in there is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a long time coming. Like I said, I want to do this for a while. We're getting into this. Monday Night Raw. WrestleMania. JR says, WrestleMania is a huge success, but the dust is not settled just yet. That main event was awesome. I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Then we should apologize ahead of time. You might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. Well, when Batista's on Monday Night Raw, you know damn well no one's going to be able to sleep. The animals come to the top. Eric Bischoff. Hey, Batista. As you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. And as a GM, I have a certain duty to provide the best quality show to the fans. But you're a smart guy, so I don't need to explain this to you. Don't let the pressure get to you. And welcome to Monday Night Raw. Oh, thanks, Eric. You know, it's Batista. I don't think Batista really cracks under any sort of pressure. We're going straight to the top. You know it. Uh, ooh, the locker room. I haven't seen this in a while. Uh, who can we talk? <laughs> Episode 1. You can now talk with Goldberg in the back. Sure. Let's go talk to Goldberg. Let's see what Goldberg's got to say. What do you want? Are you interested in teaming up with me? I want to... See, I will I'll do. Do you want to? Are you interested in teaming up with me? But I'm, um, I'm also, I'm already teaming with Randy Orton and Ric Flair and, you know, Triple H is part of Revolution, so I want to fight you, Goldberg. To be the man, you've got to beat the man. Me. Oh, is he gonna. Oh! <laughs> you got hit, SP. My... I didn't even get a chance to fight back. Goldberg just knocked me out, knocked me clean out my ass. All right, whatever. That's <laughs> I should just ask him to team with me. All right, so match card: Devon Dudley versus Lance Storm. Uh, Lance Storm defeats Devon. Uh, Batista versus Hurricane, and then Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. Eric Bischoff, special guest referee. So let's get into our match, going one on one with the Hurricane. Ooh, Latino Heat. Rest in peace, man. Miss you, miss you, Eddie. There's a hurricane coming through. The man that beat the rock clean in the center of the rain on an episode of Monday Night Raw.
Man, this game was like ahead of its time. It was such a good game. I hope I. <laughs> I know it's probably not gonna happen, but I I saw like some rumors that they might remaster it. It'd be so nice if they did, but I'm also not an idiot. <laughs> I know that they probably won't remaster a game like this. They probably never could. They could probably never get a game to have the same feel as Here Comes the Pain. And what I love about being able to play this game is that like it yeah we're starting with Here Comes the Pain, but it opens up so many avenues into other other games like. Um, cause the Elgato, I mean, you can use it. You could play any type of game on it. So I mean, I could be playing the SmackDown vs. Raw series. I could play um, the hell else was I thinking? Of? Like WWE 13, WWE 12, 2K 14. Like I could do so much stuff with this, and it makes me so happy that I finally got around to getting one. <coughs> Excuse me, jeez, how disrespectful of myself. I'm sorry. Come on, let's get into this match. Are we getting a black screen gimmick? Uh oh. Don't do this. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's back. <laughs> we got our screen back. Oof. I was getting worried there for a second. It was like a good like, 20 seconds of just black screen. I, I thought we were going to have to restart the whole thing again. Batista versus. Oh. Hurricane wants to shake my hand. Alright, Hurricane. Hey! Don't do. <laughs> Oh. Hey, get out of here. Low blow right in front of her. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is on a hard difficulty, so we're going to have to see how this goes. Hurricane, you thought you were going to pick up Batista? Better get back in the gym, kid. Take that. Okay. I, I did notice that's one thing. Oh, sent me to the outside. Uh, I didn't notice that's one thing about playing on hard on Here Comes the Pain is that they do reverse a lot. So they're like, I, I just got done playing a match against Brock Lesnar, and uh, it was just like a reversal fest. It was crazy. But it kind of added a little more suspense to it, honestly. It's like, who's going to get the final reversal? Oh, I guess Hurricane's probably more of a striker than. Okay, keep hitting me with the hip tosses or arm drags. Arm bar. <laughs> Oh, we already got it. We've hit in this dude with like two moves and he's already on yellow body. And I'm gonna try and not, um... I don't want to try and... I don't want to change this overall too much. I want to see if I can just win without changing it. But, uh, obviously, you know, we're gonna have to see how... <laughs> how long that actually happens. Oh! Okay. Hurricane. You got the Hurricane Rana. Or the Rana Whip, actually, because there's no pin. Rana is, uh... Boop! Boop! Boop, run means pen. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, dude, Herc is eating him. Yeah. <laughs> Get up, Hurricane. You gotta kick your ass. Whoop. All full Nelson. See ya. See if we can put him away. Boop. Here we go. Batista. Power. Bomb, there he goes. I think that's it. Hurricane, get out of here. Get back to the back. The animal's on the rise. What? Yo, that was my... F it's because I didn't... It's because I didn't do the Batista bomb. I just did power bomb. Apparently, there's a difference. Woo! Get out of here. Oof! Clocked him. Choke this man out. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, so it's great. So now I have my 2K Ruthless Aggression Universe Mode series. I have the... Oh, look at the power of the animal. Um, I have... Ooh. Hurricane's out. This man is dead. Um, I have my live stream series for Uncharted 4. Oh, okay. He caught me there. And then I have... Smackdown comes pain. So, I mean, we're finally getting some more series other than just um, universe mode, which, I mean, my universe mode is great. I love it and all, but sometimes you just want to play a regular game, you know what I mean? But Batista. What the Batista bomb? That's it. No rope break. Yes, no rope break. Two. Do you have him? Three. There we go. Got, fa 
Gotta come fast, Earl. We're attacking this man. Tista's a heel. We're attacking this dude. Who do you think you are to come in here? Try to take out the animal. Okay. No one wants to see that side of you, Hurricane. <laughs> no, no one wants to see this. Get out of here, Earl. He's got the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Earl. I killed you. Killing Hurricane, too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Batista's not playing games. It's a new era in the WWE. It's the age of the animal. All right, Batista gets the first victory. Gets a win first here on Monday Night Raw, and then Shawn Michaels versus Triple H, Eric Bischoff, special guest referee. Who's gonna get the victory? Triple H. Yeah, well, makes sense, I guess. Triple H was like back in that time, in this time period, he was like, no one could beat him. But uh, um, uh, going into second week of Raw in Phoenix, Arizona. Let's get into it. Taking over this joint. Kick some ass. Jerry, well, limo has just pulled up, folks. I wonder who's inside. Must be those centerfold models coming to pick me up. Yeah, right. Kane. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> we can talk to Hurricane back. Say, okay, let's go talk to the Hurricane. Let's see what he's got to say. What's up? I was hoping you'd stop by, Batista. I owe you beating for what you did last week. <laughs> you think? Oh, Goldberg. So tonight, Goldberg is going to, to fight on my behalf. Yeah, I want to see you try and beat me down. Is that supposed to scare me? Actually, I want to apologize. Um, I'd say I want to apologize. But I want to take... I need to get some payback on Goldberg from last week. So, Goldberg... You're getting your ass kicked right here, right now. Let's go. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, it's nervous. Go, oh, Jesus Christ. Get out of here. Let me alone. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Man, that stuff never gets old. Where are you going, Goldberg? Where are you going, Goldberg? Go! <laughs> what is this man doing? I'm up here. Goldberg, I'm up here. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man, we gotta try and... Get out of here, Goldberg. We gotta try and take Goldberg out. We gotta get some payback from last week. Is it... Oh, oh. oh, see ya. <laughs> He's dead. Man, I love this. I love this backstage. The backstage brawls in this game were like the A one. Like you can't, you can't beat it. SmackDown vs. Raw was really good too for that. Um, like all the older games were. I think they start, they start dying down a little bit at, at like 2006 and 2007 maybe. Yeah, eat it. See you, Goldberg. Get your ass in there. Boop! <laughs> I killed him. He's gonna come back with long hair and a b bigger beard. Wacka! Dude, Goldberg's getting this work. DDT! Yo, Goldberg, you gotta get into this, brother. Oh shit. Oh shit! No! Getting the hell out of here. No thanks. Aha, Goldberg. Can't take that with you. Oh! Oh! That was so close. Boop! There we go. Take him out. Just gonna try to wear down Goldberg. Oof. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it's a ch <laughs> There I go. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I'm back up first, though. Whoop. Get back up here, Goldberg. We got a plan. I got something in mind. And nothing's going to stop me from putting you through this cage. Whew. 
There's a few more. Yo, Goldberg, Goldberg's like... He would make... He's making me feel like I'm playing this at freaking easy right now. Come on, Goldberg. Yeah, get into it. Goldberg, come on! <laughs> what is this? Alright, Goldberg. Gonna put you away here. Oh, no. No, 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 no! <laughs> well, at least it wasn't just me. Get up, Batista. We gotta finish what we started. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Batista has Goldberg up on top of the cage, right? <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Nope. There we go. Come on, Goldberg. Just threw him right into boxes. All right, Goldberg. Let's go to the locker room. Keep door closed. Nah. See ya. Oh shit. The treadmill. Oh what? Oh. Look for those right hands, are you, Goldberg? Nice try. Oh, we busted this man open. All right, how do you do this? Square. Uh, go, Batista! Oh, what did I do? Boop. It's okay. We don't need. We don't need any more. This how you do it? Oh, here we go. Goldberg. Goldberg. Someone's in trouble. Goldberg. See ya. Jackknife. Come on. Come on, ref. One, two. two. Get out of here, Goldberg. That's what you get for hitting me last week. That's what you get. I'm the new unstoppable one. The unstoppable force in the WWE. You're just a little tiny man. Alright. Took out Goldberg. Got a little bit of payback. And now we are teaming with Randy Orton to take on Booker T and Goldust. Ooh, the tag team titles are on the line too. Bob Ray Dudley, Devon Bushley, Triple H and Ric Flair. Oh, come on, Rick. You gotta take those titles home for Evolution. It's okay, Randy Orton. No, we'll, we'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll get the win. Oh, here we go. Evolution. <laughs> I, 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 that ass, I was in between Randy Orton or Batista to play as. It was either one of those two or John Cena. But, uh, decided to go with the animal. The manimal. Sucker! They're a tag team, and here comes the pain. They're not in my universe mode. But that doesn't make a difference when you're talking about SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Look at this. They got their own special entrance, too. Woo! That's badass. All right, Gold Dust and Booker T. Let's get in here. Kick some ass. Oh man, I'm so excited to be playing this game again. It's been way too long. I'm just hoping the audio is not cutting out like it was the first time I tried playing this. Okay, Booker. So we're playing as Orton to start off. Whoa! Get out of here. Who do you think you are, Booker? At least I don't actually need you in here. I just accidentally hit that button. Get out of here. Off the rope schools, Booker T. Went for a drop kick, Booker T reversed. Oh, look at B Booker T with the pump handle. Jesus. Booker T's not playing around. They got something to prove here tonight. Maybe if they played like this in my universe mode, they would have been tag team champs. Oh shit. They did have a match in for the tag team titles, but they were unsuccessful in my universe mode. Alright, let's tag in the real the real main event star here. Batista. 
Is Ra Randy Orton was still the youngest World Heavyweight Champion, wasn't he? I believe so. Because, yeah, because uh, it was Brock Lesnar, and then it was Randy Orton. And I don't think anyone younger has won it since. I don't know if they're ever going to have that prestige get taken away from Randy Orton, to be honest with you. The youngest World Champion. Get up, Batista. Oh, I'm trying to go after Earl. See ya. Alright, let's show our tag team prowess here, Orton. Earl, get out the way. Just high-fived Earl's head. I w Orton! You went the wrong way. Orton! <laughs> get out of here. Booker, what the <laughs> Whoop whoop whoop. Yeah, Booker still thinks <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry, Batista. We're we're still new here. You know, we're still figuring each other out as a tag team. We just gotta work on a couple things, that's all. No big deal. Oh shit. They're doing construction right outside my house. I really hope you guys can't hear it. Because it's entirely and like entirely too annoying. Nope. Get away from gold dust. Tag in. Here we go. Now we're getting into the mix here. Showing off that tag team prowess. Come here, book. Whoop! Ooh, nice. Aside of the back worker. Ooh, I'm the new Roderick Strong. Whoop! Full Nelson. See ya! Batista was such a badass at this time. Let's see if we can put him away. Here we go. Batista Bob coming right up. Sunny later. And for the cover. One. Two. He kicked out? What? Okay. Get out of here. Booker. Dude, Booker's getting back into this. That's what I love about being on hard difficulties. That like they have the reversal stocks, they have they're, they're like better at reversing. No, don't tag and gold dust. He's got a finisher. Oh, kicked them both. Um, yeah. So playing on hard, like for a while, it looked like we, like we probably could have just won that match if we were playing on normal. But because the fact that oh no, uh, Batista, I need you to go ahead and get in here. Don't let him hit, Batista. Batista, what are you doing? Thank you. There we go. Don't worry, I got this clown. Whoop! Roll up. Come on, Earl. You gotta count faster. Damn it. Get get your ass back in here. Where do you think you're going? Whoop! Boop! Off the ropes. Don't worry, Batista. I'll get you here. Oh, one for a drop kick. Oh, Orton, where are you going? Uppercut. Later. Oh, Randy Orton. He's got the arm. Oh, look at look at look at the athleticism. <laughs> Woo! Elbow drop. So I think I changed Orton's moveset a, a, like a long time ago. I don't know if it's still, if it's on this memory card or not. Oh no. He's choking me out. Get out of here. Oh! Orton! Look at that. You don't see him doing any of that anymore. Alright, over here. Uh, damn it! Ooh. I'll get to you, Batista. Hang on. I just I, I gotta set something up. I don't know Oh, I don't think Orton has it. Whoop! It's okay, he's got to roll up. <laughs> OP rope break. RKO there we go. Later. Oh, here we go. 
Um, Ref, can you go ahead get him out of here? Dude, it's... Uh, oh. OP rope break. Damn it. Oh, you ripped her in. You got her, you got her ribs. See ya. Oh, get him, Morton. Woo! <laughs> oh, come on. I so reversed that. I so reversed that. No! Bastard. Tista. Ooh. Or I need you to go ahead and get over here. We're going to set the combo. Thank you. Woo. Whoop. Oh, look at the perfect combination. Oh, that was sweet. All right. Or let's, let, let's let Orion get the win here. Three. There we go. Look at that. That was good. Let's attack him. <laughs> like I said, we're heels. Gotta attack him. Oh, hello, little rib turner there, Goldie. Please, Booker T's just knocked out somehow. Get out of here. Oh! Batista knocked out the ref again. I don't give a shit. You're a piece of shit. Hey, there's nothing over here to see, Earl. Ain't nothing to see. Get out of here. Oh, Orin's kicking this shit in. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> uh, evolution is taking over the game, people. All right. Evolution got the victory. Ooh, Mr. McMahon. Oh boy, Mr. McMahon himself. It's Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon to you. The man who owns the whole industry, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. What's he doing here tonight? How are you all doing tonight? Good, I hope. Actually, you should all be grateful. Grateful you have something to do tonight in this piece of crap town. Anyways, let's get to the chase. Batista. What's up? You're a great talent, no doubt. You're not like these other low lefts come in this town. You actually have a future in life. But don't get too cocky that I'm out here praising you. Remember, all WWE superstars are my property. I can make you and I can break you. Whether you'll be in the WrestleMania main event next year or not is all up to me. So don't you forget that. That is all. Alright then. Mr. McMahon already flexing his authority before next year's WrestleMania. You better not cross the balls. I'll kick the shit out of the bus. I don't care. I'm Batista, damn it. What's he gonna do? I'll just go to Hollywood and make movies. <laughs> All right, but uh, next week, April 3rd week, Houston, Texas. Um, but that's going to be it for this first episode of SmackDown. Here comes the pain season mode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already for more. Like I said, we I figured, once I figured out a way to do it, we're going to be doing this series. So if you guys want to see it continue, be sure to so, show some support on the channel. Uh, it really does help me out. So thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!